Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swing fixes coming at you through my golf app, not the Ask Golf Guru app. This is the golf app. They're two different apps, two different channels. You're on the main channel. We're talking swing fixes today. Um, club is definitely twisted around the axis of the shaft, so all the loft of the face is compromised. Um, which requires you either to hit the ball way left or to present the handle in a pretty funky way which will make golf quite challenging. Let's see if we can help him. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, love this swing. We've played this course. Anyone who watches the course vlogs, this is Dawlish. This is, I think, is it the seventh or eight or so? I think it's the seventh um, around the bay. Anyone who watches the course vlogs, we have played this course. Um, a local guy sent a swing. Thanks for sending. Thanks for buying the app. Now look, he gets the club back to this kind of first parallel and it is just pointing at the ground, isn't it? So the face has been twisted, the point at the ground. Now people would call that close. I call that twisted because you could still deliver that club not left but if you did if you have the face twisted like that and you deliver it not left it means you've got to take all the loft off it so in effect you are taking all the loft off to try and make sure you hit the target the other thing that we see because the club face is twisted so much he has to try and raise the handle to also control that leftwardness that the desire of the face wants to almost get back to if he was to align all those kind of forces and energies up um, right hand grip it's under the club which encourages that big twist if you want to swing the ball with that amount of right hand or you want to swing the club sorry with your right hand in the under position um, you are going to need to do things like down swings you're going to have to try and open your body up dramatically and deliver that handle forwards to try and make sure the ball never wants to shoot off low or to the left. It's going to go lower if you do that because you've compromised the loft, like I said, because of the twist. So really, for me, it's a case of right hand considerably more on top of the club. You've got to feel right hand. So V's here kind of up somewhere between chin and shoulder. You know, you could even get it up towards your right shoulder, which will feel slightly more comfortable for you because you're so far under it. I feel uncomfortable maybe to get it in what people call a neutral position. But you need to do things like this. Look, this is a great draw I use for people. If I was to grip the way you're gripping, so right hand underneath the club, and take the club back, just one-handed right hand, and twist it down, and just try and chip a ball out in front of me, I mean, it just doesn't go in the air. This is a six iron. I've taken all the loft off it, and it's going to the left. Just isn't going to work. Unless... And it's hard with one hand to do. I start trying to deliver kind of hands forwards, almost try and flip the handle back to deliver some loft. And in such a small shot with one hand, oh, that's such an awkward movement, a natural movement to do. When you've got two hands pulling on the club, a bit more force through that shaft, you can start to do a bit more of that stuff. But it's still such a kind of awkward way to fight the club face rather than maybe let the club face work with you a little bit more. So do the same drill, right hand, just put it a little bit more in its functional position, so a bit more on top. Come down the grip as well, which will help you get control of the club. And just chip a few balls out. Now, you could do this with airflows kind of in the living room. You could do it with airflows just into, like, in your office or whatever, just to get used to it. You would have more success at changing your right hand and then in turn how the face works by doing this kind of for 10 minutes a day then you were probably hitting 200 balls because the trick when you hit your balls is you're going to naturally go back to what you feel is the functional way rather than the new way when you get on the golf course you then want to try and hit some shots right hand on top and just let the face go where it goes you'll find that twist will tend to want to go that desire to raise the handle will calm down um, and that desire to have the handle forwards will calm down great drill for people right hand down the bottom of the club get it more in the conventional position check over grip videos for that and just try and chip some balls forward trying to kind of align the head with the shaft almost through impact this is the feeling just to get those forces aligning and chipping the ball off with some loft while using that grip you could then do a few practice swings with both hands on just feeling a slightly bigger similar move it's really about breaking habit with grips like that that's what you got to do and those breaking it down into those little movements are great for just breaking down those habits. Hope that helps. Post comments. 
Uh, thanks for sending the swing. Good luck at Dawlish. Um, that sounded like a windy day when you were playing there as well, so you can have a fun winter. Thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.